If you were looking to buy a home in 2021, chances are it was a pretty stressful year. You weren't so lucky and maybe you were outbid or just couldn't keep up with the fast changing market and the rising prices and you just couldn't get the property that you wanted. Well, as a longtime real estate agent, I have some tips for you here coming into 2022 that will hopefully help you land the property that you've been looking for, and let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to give you as a tip is probably the most important one in this whole video, so if you don't take anything else away from this, please hear me out on this one. It's the most unsexy of them all, but I'm starting with this tip first because it's probably the most important one and that is you need to get educated on your local market and keep your finger on the pulse of what exactly is selling in your neighborhood and for how much and for how fast now this can sound like a lot of work and it is well welcome to the real estate world it's a lot of work to track what's going on in the market but if you want to get a good deal on a house in your neighborhood this is going to be the only way to know First of all, if you are getting a good deal and when you see a property come up, you know what a good deal looks like and know more or less how much that property should sell for. And by staying in touch with your local market, this will also help you quickly weed out all of the properties that are not good deals because if you see a lot of houses coming up in your area, for example, around the 400K price point and then one pops up just down the street at 500K but nothing really seems different about that property, you already know that that seller is fishing. It's a way overpriced listing and you can just rule it out unless you plan on making them a lowball offer. But this is how much of an advantage that staying in tune with your local market can really give you if you're looking to buy a house in 2022. Now my next tip is that because inventory is still so tight in many markets, I encourage you to open up your area that you're looking in a little bit further outside of your focus area. And the reason for this is because if you're willing to look a little bit outside of your market that you've had your eye on, you might be surprised the type of deals that you might find and for even lower of a price than you're looking for in your main market. Now I know not everybody might be able to do this if you really need to live in a certain place, but if you can have a little bit of flexibility and don't mind maybe a 30 or 40 minute commute to work every day, this can be an excellent way to save a little bit of money and give you some extra home buying options. A quick example of this in my area would be, let's say you're looking to buy a property in Tampa, Florida, but inventory there is at pretty much an all time low and the prices are at an all time high. So now's not really the best time to move to Tampa from that point of view. However, if you look at surrounding areas like Tarpon Springs, Port St. Ritchie, or Palm Harbor as alternatives, you'll be able to find more inventory that's all within a 30 to 45 minute drive to the city and for less money. And you might even actually like these areas better because if you work in the city, for example, and you can come home to a more laid back atmosphere, that might be just the decompression setting that you need working a stressful, busy job in the city, but still being able to enjoy a sanctuary at your house. So that's just one example of how looking outside your market could really help you out in 2022. Now, in case anyone watching this video is looking to move to Florida in particular, please give my real estate team a call or an email. All the information is down in the description below and we'll be happy to help you with your move. This tip is based on a huge mistake that I see a lot of amateur buyers making or somebody that hasn't bought a house in a while or maybe if you're a first time buyer. Even if you're not a first time buyer, people forget how the process goes. And so this third tip is you need to be ready to make an offer. So many times have I seen buyers that want to look at properties and they know exactly what they want, but they fail to do the very first most important step, which is to get pre-approved for a mortgage. Because if you're not pre-approved, then you really don't know if you can actually afford the properties that you're looking at, which can be a huge problem and a waste of time for you and your real estate agent. And if you're a cash buyer, the same applies to you. Maybe you don't need a pre-approval because you're paying cash, but you need to have all your ducks in a row when it comes to how are you going to prove funds to the owner of the property that you're going to be making an offer on. So usually how this is done is you'll submit a bank statement proving that you have the money in the bank to buy the property. Or another way I've seen it done as well is having a line of credit that say the property costs 200,000 and you have a $230,000 line of credit that could also be used as proof of funds when you're buying a cash deal. But 
This more applies to people who are looking to get a loan. You need to make sure that you've already checked with your mortgage broker or your bank and you have a pre-approval letter set in the amount of the budget that you're looking to spend before you ever go looking at your first house. And this will also help you in such a competitive market like we're in right now because that means when it comes time to make an offer, you have everything ready. All you gotta do is sign the contract and hopefully you'll win that deal. The fourth tip is once you've kind of settled on an area or a few different areas that you know for sure you're gonna be interested in, try and drive these neighborhoods often, at least once a week, and see, are there any properties coming up for sale that you didn't know about, especially for sale by owners? And the reason I like for sale by owners is because a lot of people that do for sale by owners think they really know how it goes when it comes to doing a real estate transaction and maybe a small number of them do but a lot of them don't and the mistakes that they make are usually not putting the right price on the property and also not marketing it very well which leads to less competition for you so if you're in the market to buy a property for sale by owners could be a good way to snatch up a property that doesn't have a lot of competition and so the best way to do this is to drive the neighborhood. But say if you're looking for condos, you can't necessarily drive the neighborhood. So there's also sites like forsalebyowner.com. Also, you can filter out listings on zillow.com using the for sale by owner filter. And this will show you properties that are only for sale by owner and not listed by a real estate agent. So these properties have the potential to be good deals. You know, there's nothing wrong with those properties, but they could be under marketed or not have the correct price on them just because a seller of the home might not be as in tune with the local market as a real estate agent would be since they do this every day and a seller might only sell two or three homes in their lifetime. And if you're able to snatch up one of these properties without any competition, you just saved yourself so much of a headache. I mean, look at all the people that have lost out to bidding wars in 2021 because properties have gotten so expensive. And so if there's less competition, that's just gonna be better for you as the buyer and make the transaction a little bit smoother and less stressful. My next tip is to be prepared to still lose out on a couple of deals. Not every offer you make is going to be accepted, especially if your offer price is too far away from what the seller is looking to get, or if you have competition and there's multiple offers, chances are the first offer that you submit this year if you're looking for a home, it probably won't get accepted unless you're really lucky. So just be prepared mentally that you're probably gonna have to make several offers before you actually get the home that you want. But just remember guys, if you know 100% when you see a property that that's the one you want, you better make a very strong offer because you only get one chance and you might not get another chance, especially if you have a lot of competition. So if you do find a property that you love, make sure you give the best offer possible, maybe even a full price offer if it seems worth it. People usually try to negotiate and offer a little bit less, but in such a hot market, offering full price could be the right decision if the property is the right one for you. This tip could ultimately be the one that actually lands you the property of your dreams in 22 and could separate the people who actually get the home they want and the ones that don't. And this tip is to be persistent and to be patient. If you give up, you're not gonna get the house that you want. So you need to always be looking. You need to just not give up no matter how many offers you've made. You need to just always keep an eye on the market like we said earlier. But most importantly, you need to stay patient because sometimes you just won't be able to find the house that you're looking for and you need to accept that. You need to accept that maybe you just can't afford the type of house that you want, maybe you should lower your standards or if you know for sure you can afford the type of house you want and the inventory is just too tight, then just keep an eye open. You know, being patient could actually really pay off in the long run. You could end up getting a great deal that you normally would not have gotten if you would have just bought the first house you saw because you're desperate to buy a house in 2022. So I can't stress enough how important it is to just be patient and hopefully the right deal will come along. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see my 2022 housing market prediction, then check it out right over here and I'll catch you guys over there.